Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And in today's video, we will talk about the operation and function. Actually guys, marami na akong videos with regard to the operation and function. Kaso nga lang, meron pa nung nakikita mga comments na magbigay pa ako ng mas maraming examples or mas mahirap na example with regard to this kind of topic. So, kung gusto niyo mapanood yung mga nauna kong video, ilalagay ko yung link sa ating description box and I hope na matuto kayo dito. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we have here operation and functions. And we are given two different functions wherein we have f of x, which is equal to x plus 5 over x minus 7. And the other function is g of x is equal to 3 over x minus 7. And as you can see, sila yung rationals. Rational function sila. Ngayon, ang target natin gawin ngayon is to add, subtract, and divide these fractions or these functions. And I hope na makuha niyo yung techniques kung paano ba ginagawin ganito klase yung given function. So let's start with number 1. We have f plus g of x. Ang target natin dito is to add the two different functions. So, let's have the f of x wherein pakinuha natin yung f plus g of x natin, it will go like this. f plus g of x and pag sinunod nyo copy x plus 5 is equal to x plus 5 over x minus 7 and then as you can see, the operation here is addition. So we need to put here plus your g of x which is 3 over x minus 7. Now, hindi siya ganun kahirap by Guys, as you can see, their denominators are similar. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito guys, though fraction siya kasi napansin ko maraming mga bata or mga sudyante and uh, they are afraid of fractions. Once na nakita nila may denominator at may numerator. But this time, they are similar. So all you need to do is to copy your common denominator, which is x minus 7, and then add the numerators. You have x plus 5 plus 3. In the numerator, we can combine 5 and 3 because the two numbers are considered constants. So we have here 5 plus 3 which is 8. Therefore, your f plus g of x is simply x plus 8 over x minus 7. This is the correct answer for item number 1. And then another thing guys, kapag may ganang ganitong klaseng problem, I-check nyo kung kaya pang simplify yung final answer nyo o yung answer na nakuha nyo. Kasi dito sa case natin, hindi pa, ah, okay na siya, simplified na siya. But in other cases, baka maka-encounter kayo na kailangan pang simplify. Remember, ang pinaka-rule or isa mga rules na dapat nyo sundin in doing mathematical questions or answering math problems ay always simplify your answer. Let's continue with item number 2. For item number 2, we have f minus g of x. Now, as you can see, this one is subtracting or subtraction of functions. So we have f of g, f minus g, sorry, of x. Wherein, we need to copy your f of x. Kasi siya yung nauna, we have x plus 5 over x minus 7. Minus your g of x which is 3 over x minus 7. Since uh, this is minus, huwag natin expect na ganun din magiging sagot natin. They are different. So let's continue. Same thing you need to do. Since the denominators are common, all you need to do is to copy x minus 7. So your f minus g of x is equal to Copy your common denominator, which is x minus 7, 
and then subtract your numerators, which is x plus 5 minus 3. Now, subtract 5 and 3, and it will give you the f minus g of x be equal to x plus 2, because 5 minus 3 is 2, over x minus 7. And this is the answer for item number 2. We're in, uh, in another pattern of difference between function f and function g. So I hope na nakukuha niyo yung method natin sa first two operations natin. And now let's continue with number 3. For number 3, we have f, sorry, g of f of x. Ah, sorry, g divided by f of x. So ngayon, what we will do here is we will divide the two functions. Pero mauna sa g. So paano ba ginagawa yun, sir? We have g of f and g over f or g divided f of x. Nalilito ako sa composition. Since nasa unahan si g, what you will do is to copy your function g which is 3 over x minus 7. Next, all over your function f which is x plus 5 over x minus 7. What you will do is you will apply the rules on how to divide fractions. Example lang guys, what if you're asked to divide one half by one third? What you will do is to copy this one half and then gawin mo siyang multiplication and then get the reciprocal of one third which is three over one. So mag-multiply ka na ngayon. Same thing yung process dito. What you will do is to copy your Numerator, 3 over over x minus 7. And then proceed to multiplication times. Ito naman, kunin yung reciprocal. Get the reciprocal of this. This is x minus 7 over x plus 5. Pag sinabi natin yung reciprocal, guys, uh, Binabago natin yung pwesto ng numerator sa denominator. Yung dating numerator, gagawin mong denominator. Yung dating denominator, gagawin mong numerator. And then proceed to multiplication. But this time guys, you can cancel out x minus 7. Kasi nasa itaas yung x minus 7, and nasa denominator yung x, x minus 7. And i-multiply natin kung ano yung natitira dito. So, finally, your g of f of x is simply 3 times, meron ditong 1 na natira, 3 times 1 is 3 over meron ditong 1 na natira, 1 times x plus 5 that will give you x plus 5 and this is the answer for item number 3 so ito yung isang sagot natin guys now for item number 4 guys as you can see, yung g of f natin is the same as this one. So, ang shortcut dito, if ma-encounter nyo itong ganitong klaseng problem na meron ng value yung x, tas meron kang ganito, all you need to do is to get this. You have 3 over x plus 5. Or in, dito, your x is equal to 2, so we can replace this x by 2 para makuha natin direct answer dito. So, this is 3 over 2 plus 5. Now, simplifying your denominator, this will give you yung g of f of 2 natin is the same as 3 over 7. Ito na mismo sagot natin. Pero, I will give you an alternative way or process on how to do this. Ngayon, sir, what if walang ganyan? So, ang gagawin mo dito guys is to evaluate separately the function f and function g if the value of x is equal to 2. So, tandaan mo buti yan, your f of x is equal to x plus 5 over x minus 7. At yung value ng x natin ay 2, so we can replace this by 2. 
And then, pagka natin, natin ng variable x dito man ng 2, it will become 2 plus 5 over 2 minus 7. Pag simplify na to, this will give you negative 7 over 5. Ito din isang sagot natin. For f of 2. Now, sir, how about f of uh, g of 2? For g of 2, what will happen is that copy natin to, this is 3 over x minus 7 is equal to, bagay natin yung x bilang 2, that is 3 over 2 minus 7. Ang mangyari dito ngayon ay, pag simplify nyo to, this will give you, this is negative, eh? negative 3 over 5. Ito na mismo yung sagot dito, when you evaluate the function of g, if the value of x is 2. Now, eh, ang pinapanap sa atin ay g of f of 2. Ang dami mo ngayon dito guys, ay ito. Yung value ng g natin ay ito, negative 3 over 5. Over your f which is negative 7 over 5. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, copy your numerator. Copy lang natin. That is negative 3 over 5. And then proceed tayo sa multiplication. We're in. Kunin natin yung sipro ka nito. This is negative 5 over 7. Now, as you can see, meron tayong parehas 5 sa numerator sa so denominator. So we can eliminate 5 and 5. And then remember, negative times negative is positive. So we have here now the answer of g of f of 2 be equal to 3 over 7. As you can see, parehas na parehas yung sagot natin sa first way natin kung paano ginawa yung number 4. And guys, uh, I hope na natuto kayo sa mismo video natin kasi napaka-importante matuto kayo sa operation ng function. Pero by the way guys, before nyo gawin to, syempre dapat marunong kayo sa operations ng integers at ng mga uh, variables. Kasi pag hindi nyo alam yun, mawawala at mawawala kayo dito. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!